Hey everybody, Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Reliance School, coming to you today to talk about ticks. I'm not a fan of ticks and neither is Cedar, the survival dog. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some permethrin and how we utilize it for classes where we're going to be in the woods a lot and some other uh, helpful tidbits to help you stay away from ticks. Glad you joined us. I had the good fortune of working with the Department of Defense on some military teen adventure camps last year. And on one of those camps, we had the good fortune of being there at the same time that an entomologist was there teaching some of the participants in the class about insects. And I, I got in a pretty good discussion with him at that time about what's the best stuff that you can put on you to keep ticks off of you. Well, it was their laboratory findings that DEET worked best and worked better than permethrin. However, uh, what we found at Nature Reliance School is that permethrin seems to work better. And this is what I'm wondering is how they actually applied the insect repellent when they were doing this study in the laboratory. So what we've got is a bottle of Sawyer permethrin and there's any number of makers that make it. It's just this is widely distributed so it's easy to find. And uh, I'll have a link in the blog where you can buy some of this yourself. So what we're going to do is I've got a class coming up this weekend where we're going to be teaching scout tracking uh, skills, and which means our students and ourselves are going to be laying in the wooded areas, leaf litter, tall grass. We're going to be doing that for about four days. And what we have found is that if you take some permethrin and spray it on your clothes, which is how it's designed to be used, and utilize it in that manner, it works really well to keeping ticks off of you. Because what we've done is we've had students come to class, we tell them to use permethrin, but there's always people that don't. And we always take stock on, all right, who's getting ticks on them in class and who's not getting ticks on them in class. And almost inevitably, the people that don't get very many ticks on them are ones that have used permethrin. So I know that's a real informal, non-laboratory study, but it has been our experience that it works really well. So the things that I want to point out is I've got several pieces of clothing here, but the entry points for insects is anything that's not covered in clothing, okay? So you can imagine where the band of your pants are, where the hem of your pants are, your ends of your sleeves. When I spray these pants down so that they can keep, so I can utilize them to keep the insects off of me, I'm going to give them a liberal coating anyway throughout the whole garment. And what I'm also going to do is around the band, I'm going to put it a little bit more uh, thick and a little bit more liberal there. I'm also going to do that on my shirt, on my sleeves, and I also do that on my hat. That's one of the reasons this hat looks as bad as it does is because I've sprayed it with permethrin almost every time I go outdoors. So it's always got a lot of insecticide on it. Now, what they say in the marketing is that uh, it will last on your clothing for nearly 40 days uh, exposed to air and sun. Now, with that said, I have not found that to be true. I have found that it'll last for two, two to three weeks, somewhere in that time frame. And then I start getting ticks on me again. And because it's a non-laboratory uh, scientific methodology, it's hard for me to really put that out there and say it's just hardcore data. But what I do know is that if I go to a class and I wear those same clothes or same garment or whatever, um, following when I'm making videos like this, that I will have ticks not on me for at least a couple more weeks. And so it does last for quite a while. Now, one of the things I want to make sure that we understand is this stuff is the death on you if you put it on your skin. So do not use this like you use DEET and like OFF and other products of that manner. You want to make sure that you only utilize this on clothing and you want to put it on your clothing and let it sit. Now, another thing that you need to do is make sure you spray this stuff outside. That's why I've come out here. I'm going to lay this stuff on the back of the truck. I'm going to get cedar out of the back of the truck so that she can uh, romp around and play a little bit. And then we're going to spray all this down and let it air out while we're, we've got it here outside. So those are some helpful hints. If you get the Sawyer permethrin, what you're going to find is that uh, there's a lot of instructions in there on basically what I just said. But in a nutshell, what I just told you is what's on those instructions, but I highly recommend getting that when and reading that when you get this product. So with that said, I hope that helps. In the blog material, I'm going to have some other listings. My friend David from Ultimate Survival Tips put out a fantastic blog on seven tips 
that will help you get rid of ticks and keep them off of you. I'm going to link that in the blog as well as list some other things that I've come up with, with over the years. And that way we can help you get better prepared so you can keep ticks and other insects and other biting insects off of you. As always with Nature Light School, come on, join in, let's learn together.